Hey guys, welcome back to the Plants vs Zombies Ultimate Guide. Today we're on the last member of the Plants team. This is the Cactus. Uh, the Cactus is a long range specialist of the Plant team, able to shoot high velocity needles at far away zombies. In her rooted form, she can dispatch her flying garlic drone to call in corn artillery strikes from above. So um, the ability at the bottom there, you can see Spike Shot is her main attack, Ammo is Cactus Needles, Damage does extra damage on critical hits, um, Reload slow usage long range. She's basically the sniper of the team, but also has a lot of support abilities, which I'll show you in the game. It's very cool. Um, the upgrades you can get for her are fast loading, which enhances the reload speed. You get extra spike growth, which increases the ammo capacity, and then also pointier spikes, which does more damaging impact. Um, so we're going to pop over to her character screen, and I will show you her abilities. So you get the garlic drone. Wow, I've customized her a bit strangely. So you get the garlic drone, which um, I will show you the tutorial for. Actually, basically, she can basically launch a garlic drone into the sky. Um, now it's a bit like controlling a, um, you know, like one of the helicopters or whatever in Call of Duty or one of the tanks and stuff in the old Nightfire games. But basically, your character can't move or do anything while that's happening. However, the drone can fly around and get to places that you wouldn't be able to as quickly if you were walking around. So I will show you that in the game, obviously, when we get to it. You can get the Artichoke drone, which is basically the upgraded version. It gives it more health, uh, helps it last longer in a fight and stuff, but it doesn't do the same amount of damage. Then we've got the Tornut Battlement, which is basically a defensive block that you can put up to stop people from getting to you. So if you are using your drone, you can literally just put up walls and stuff around you, and zombies will have to fight their way through them to get through. Um, you can use it as a defensive barrier like that, also with your sniper rifle, that works too. Um, and that can be upgraded to the Iron Maiden, which is uh, it's a different size. Um, so it's not quite as wide, but it is a lot more hardcore, so it takes a lot more to blow up. Uh, and then finally the Potato Mine is her third ability, which uh, similar to the Spike Weed, you can drop it, deploy it, um, leave it there, look, and then, oh look, a little potato, boom, there you go. Uh, and then what you can do with that, you can either keep that one, and you get think, two of those, however, if you do Potato Nugget Mine, you get five. They're a little bit smaller, they do slightly less damage, but you can put five of them down, so that's always a good thing. So we're going to jump over into a Garden Ops game again, same as before, and we're going to go for the Cactus, and I will show off her abilities. There's a tip at the bottom there. You can also use tornuts as steps to access areas you can't quite jump up to. So you can build the tornuts, you can jump onto the middle one, then onto the end one, and then up onto whatever you're next to, which is very cool. Okay, so once again we've got to wait for Mr. Dave to disappear. And then I will show you the abilities of the Cactus Sniper. Come on Dave, I've got things to do. Here we go. Right. So again, a fairly slow movement speed for the cactus, um, but she is a long range plant, so she is designed to take things out from a distance. And we're going to plant this. We're also going to put some potato mines around it, so we can see what's going on with that. Yeah, five of those. Um, and then we're going to find somewhere to hide, literally somewhere a little bit of a distance away. Um, I'm going to go around here. Where we go under here? Can't go under here. Okay. Just worried about zombies punching me in the face, basically. Let's wait and see which way the zombies come from first off. And then I can decide. Okay, they're coming from that way. So, what I can do, that's the hard nut battle nut thing. So, we're going to put that there. And here we go, the garlic drone. So, you take over the garlic drone. Let's see if we can find. You can see the flight power there. That will go down as you move around, basically. You have unlimited ammo. There you go. Potato mine, potato mine. Oh, run out. Now the other ability that you have with this, um, <laughs> wow. The other ability you have with the drone is you can hit Y and it does a corn strike. Just like an artillery strike, drops low down. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. And that's the corn strike. Oh, they seem to have been punched by a zombie. Good. You can see my terrible aiming. There you go. So you can see that she is basically a sniper. Long distance sniper. It's very difficult to use her um, in a normal sense of the way. So she's very good as a support thing. If you've got some pea shooters backing you up, then she can be very, very powerful, very, very useful. Especially with the garlic drain's abilities as well. So um, that's it for the cactus. That's all her abilities and everything. So if you've got any questions about the cactus, then leave a comment in the box below and uh, I will get back to you on that. And then also give a thumbs up if you like the video. And don't forget to subscribe for new 
uh, videos of Plants vs Zombies The Ultimate Guide every single day. Next up is going to be the Zombies team, which is where it gets interesting. But thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you soon. Take it easy.